Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, I have been posting about the new Outlook for Windows, which Microsoft has been working on, which has been available for Office Insiders in the beta channel or current channel preview. And uh, the last video I did post on the new Outlook for Windows, which Microsoft has been working on for quite some time now, was posted back in March. And if you want more any info, just do a search on the channel for Outlook for Windows or the new Outlook um, if you'd like some more info. Now, because I have been keeping you updated, just to let you know that um, on the 16th of June, which was yesterday in my region, Microsoft has made an important announcement. They have said that next year they will be replacing the mail and calendar apps in Windows with the new Outlook for Windows starting in September of 2024. So you've got, uh, give or take, just over a year now, if you are using the Mail and Calendar apps in Windows, which come bundled by default, as many of you would know, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, those are going to be replaced next year in September um, by the new Outlook for Windows, which will replace those apps and become the new default email client in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, um, personally, I do not use the mail and calendar apps. I'm more tied into the Google ecosystem. But nonetheless, uh, if you are using the mail and calendar apps, Microsoft has said that there are no changes for now. Uh, but you might see a mail tip in the mail and calendar apps letting you know of the change. So obviously, the closer that date starts getting, Microsoft will start encouraging you to start making the switch um, and getting ready for that switch over from mail and calendar to the new Outlook. And then obviously... Um, when the new Outlook becomes available, obviously mail and calendar apps will be deprecated. Now, um, if you are affected by this change, just to let you know of three important um, steps and changes that Microsoft will be implementing in September of next year, 2024. Number one, you will no longer be able to use or download the mail and calendar apps. I have mentioned that because um, the new Outlook will replace those and obviously they will all be bundled into uh, the new Outlook for Windows, and that will become the default email client, which will include the mail and calendar apps. And um, something else to take note of, um, users with a Microsoft 365 or Office 365 subscription with access to the Microsoft 365 desktop apps can use the new Outlook for Windows. And then something else I've also posted on previously is um, users will be able to use the new Outlook for Windows with any personal email account. As an example, if you are using Outlook.com or Gmail, um, you'll be able to use um, um, the new Outlook with any personal email account, even without a subscription. So even if you are not um, signed up using a Microsoft 365 or Office 365 subscription, you will still be able to use the new Outlook uh, for Windows with any personal email account. And while we are talking about Outlook.com, the new Outlook for Windows is going to be very similar to the current Outlook.com. It's also going to be a web app, a PWA. So if you are using the Outlook.com um, version of um, the email client, um, you can expect very similar differences between Outlook.com and the new Outlook when it does become officially available uh, starting next year in September of 2024. So I'm just um, putting it out there, just letting you guys know that, um, as mentioned, the uh, new Outlook for Windows, according to that announcement by Microsoft on the 16th, will be replacing the mail and, and calendar apps in Windows um, starting next year in September 2024. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.